And I'm in the tiny house today. I just wanted to make a video showing how I pump water out of the creek to fill my storage tanks. Um, tanks were empty today, so I got it all set up. I'm just using a sprinkler pump that I got from a farm supply store. Um, I had looked on YouTube for a while and couldn't find a good way to do it. So this is the method that I came up with. All right, so my water tanks are empty. I'm gonna refill them back up today. And this is where I get my water from. There's a creek. This is just behind the tiny house. Um, I looked for a while to try and figure out the best way to do this, and this is the way I came up with. I've got this um, Red Lion, I think they call them sprinkler pumps. Um, it's a 115 volt pump, six and a half amps, um, and I just run it on a little Ryobi generator. So the way this pump works is this blue hose goes down into this little dam section of the creek. Um, you can see that's underwater. Um, I'll go ahead and prime the pump, and it'll pump it up through and then into this hose, and that hose is running up the hill over to the tiny house. So the first step is I fill up some water. It's nice clear water. And I go ahead and prime it. cap back on. Alright, and then once it's ready to go, there's no switch or anything, you just plug it directly in. I don't know if you can hear it going. I usually come over and double check. Oh, yep, there's suction. So I'll run up top and see if we've got water flowing. All right, just walking up to the water tanks, and you can hear it flowing. There we go. I'll run that for, it usually takes probably 20 minutes. Um, there's enough water flowing in the creek where there's no worries of it running dry. So I'll just let this fill up in there. All right, so we're pumping. I just wanted to give some information on uh, this pump. I think it's a three-quarter horsepower. Uh, I think it uses roughly 750 to 800 watts. Um, that's why I'm running it on my generator. I only have a 700 watt inverter, or else I would be running this on solar. Um, going over to the creek. So at the end of that hose, I don't have anything on it. Um, it's just a short little hose. Uh, but you can see there's not much suction. It's not creating a little whirlpool or anything. Um, if you have a really sandy or dirty creek, you might need to put a foot valve on the end of that. Um, I haven't had any issues with it trying to suck anything up, so I just use just the hose. Um, this is pumping, I think it's rated for 11 gallons per minute. So, and it can go I think it can push water up about 25 feet. So the tiny house is probably, it might be close to that actually, um, up to where the tiny house is. But really pleased with this, makes it a lot easier, way easier than hauling water up there. So this pump comes with just both ends, our female one inch standard threads. Um, it does come with this plastic piece, uh, which goes from, from the one inch to the garden hose thread um, and then I had to buy another one uh, this goes from one inch three quarter standard thread and then three quarter standard thread to three quarter garden hose thread um, it's just the easiest way hook up a couple garden hoses go ahead and pump up makes it really easy all right once the tanks are all filled up I go ahead and I get some just normal bleach 
and you're gonna fill up one cap full and dump it in there. So this tank's got a little over 250 gallons in it right now. Um, one cap full of bleach just helps keep anything from growing in there. Um, there's probably less bleach in this tank than there is in city water, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Put that in there and make sure nothing grows. Alright, both my tanks are full, so I've got just over 500 gallons of storage now. That should last me about a month. Um, so now that I'm done, I can go ahead and just pull the plug on that. Shut the generator off, and then you'll see all the water flowing out from the, the hose.